Hi folks, it's Don. Um, let's look at a chi-square problem that uh, some people are having trouble with. And I'm again going to show you how to do it in StatCrunch because it's, it is relatively quick and easy to do in StatCrunch. In this problem, we're giving, given data this time and we have a table over here that really is not raw data, it's a summary. They've already done the count. So remember, you need to recognize this as a summary and not raw data. But anyway, the, the um, question is whether or not the reasons given by workers for continuing education is related to their job type. And they, the researchers want to know, can you conclude that the reason and the type of worker are dependent? So that's the claim. Are they dependent? In a chi-square, the null hypothesis is always that the factors that you're concerned with are independent. So our null is the reasons are independent of the type of worker, and that makes the alternative that they are dependent. And because the question of the researchers was, can you conclude they are dependent, that makes the alternative as the claim. The next thing is to get the degrees of freedom and on a chi-square uh, for in the test for independence, it's the rows, number of rows minus one times number of columns minus one. So we've got two rows so that give us one and three columns, that would be two. So one times two is two. So next we need to get the critical value and we can do that using StatCrunch. I'm going to go ahead and click on the icon and open up that data in StatCrunch. And we're going to start by going to the calculators, chi-square, and our degrees of freedom, 2, and our alpha is 0.05. In the chi-square, we are always interested in a right tail test. So set that up, select that we're looking for an X greater than or equal. In other words, the right tail, and there's our rejection area, and it's anything greater than 5.991. And I think, yes, that is the value that they were looking for in my stat lab. The next thing is check, choose the correct rejection region. And again, it's always a right tail test. So it's the chi-square statistic that we calculate is greater than the critical value of chi-square. So we need to get the test statistic and answer some questions. And we're going to, again, do that using StatCrunch. I'm going to close that calculator and get it out of the way. Now we've got our data in here already. We're going to go to Stat, Tables. This is a contingency table. Remember I said it was summary data. So our columns are the three types of workers, so we can select all three of those. Our row labels are the type of wor worker. And what we want is the expected count. I think that's all we need there. And I'm going to click on the chi-square test for independence. And then we're going to click on compute. And we get our contingency table. We've got the marginals for both the columns and the rows. We've got our total overall count and then we've got our expected values in parentheses. Now one thing I'll, I will call to your attention that in StatCrunch it rounds these expected values to just two decimal places and sometimes if uh, depends on the problem they may ask you in my stat lab to give these values to the three decimal places um, I'm going to assure you that the instructors hopefully will, um, if, you, if you run into that, 
just send them an email and say, hey, I didn't get credit for rounding off, and uh, we'll go back in and give you credit. But in most cases, like in, in this particular problem, you don't have to report those, those uh, expected counts. So let's go back into my stat lab, and it wants to know the test statistic, and you see that we got a value of 4.765 rounded, and we've got a p-value of 0.09. So what does that tell you? Well, that tells you that it's greater than our alpha of 0.05, so we reject, or excuse me, we fail to reject the null hypothesis. And if we go back over here, we can confirm that our critical area is to the right of 5.991. We've got a chi-square of 4.76 that's not in the critical area. So what is the conclusion? Can we conclude that the reason and the type of worker are dependent? And our answer is we fail to reject the null that they are independent, therefore there is not enough evidence to conclude that the reasons are dependent on the type of worker. So I hope that helps.